Cheers. We're talking about men, bro, and like from the like fathers more specifically. Yes. And I think the, I still want to have this conversation, but Heavy's like he's got his issues with it. I wanted to talk about the like ha- the standards basically of being a being a dad now. father. Because now it's like a lot of situations that you you knock a girl up and the relationship doesn't see it on the other side, and then it's just like baby mama, baby daddy. But then. I, I like focusing on the, the perspective of like that father now. Like what's the like the whole thing of just being a dad now you can just yes. as long as go for two point five or whatever yeah. like a month, yes. I'm fulfilling my duties, like yes. I'm good. Yeah. You know, as opposed to like actually yes. being there in that child like being a, a yeah. present father, like raising yeah. your you know, your boy. Now we just want some he spends weekends with me. You know, yes. I pay child support. That's yeah, you think that's enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. But good. isn't there a difference though between a father and dad. a dad? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. But because I think like one of it is like socially constructed, like like you're saying in my head, uh, a dad would be a father would be someone who sends body two point five and is biological, okay with. Yes. Yeah, it's like yeah. a biological thing. Whereas <laughs> a dad is someone who. He's is present, like he's, he's there financially, emotionally, yeah. physically. First of all, given apartheid, man, most of our fathers and their fathers were men who went to work outside of the the main house compound. Mm-hmm. So that's how they survived. They sent money every month from wherever the mines, the factories, the truck driving and stuff. So as a child, you learn, as a boy child, you learn being a father from those who are the male figures in your life, your father. If your father sends two point five every month, mm-hmm. you think that's fathering. Yeah, yeah. So as you grow older, you can only do what you know. Mm-hmm. And what you know is the two point five every month and you continue doing that. Yeah. Until okay. you see somebody for example there was a the reason why people loved the Bill Cosby show mm-hmm. so much is because for the first time they saw a working dad who yeah. would come home and be with his children. You know, ask even, how even was your homework? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, Prince of Bel Because as black people, we've never seen that. We, we've only seen your father comes month end because he's from the mines or wherever mm. it is, and he gives money, and that's it. Yeah. So you 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 do what you you were taught. And you like, also probably comfortable with the idea of as long as he provides, yes, then you think, he's a yeah. father. Then you yes. think that like it's fine because at least he's sending money. Yes. Which is what Dr. O is saying that like you're taught that as long as child dates it's, 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 it's fine. That means he's present. That's, that's, so women accept the bare minimum. Yeah. Yes. Because of yeah. our dire situation. Yes. Like for example my father wasn't in my life. Mm-hmm. So like I found dads and Uncle Phil. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yeah. For a while, even first things first, rest in peace. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 yeah. We, we yeah. wish you could have a dad like I'm before. Yeah, and I think, and those are like those circumstances, it kind of challenged um, what you then saw in reality. Because, mm-hmm. sharp, I'd watch an episode of Fresh Prince. I'd have okay, cool. This is what a, perf- a perfect family looks like. Mm-hmm. This is what I could aspire to, but when I walk outside the door, it's not it's anything total like contrast, it, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that also plays an effect into the kind of fathers that we then become, mm-hmm. because <clears throat> even before you become a father, in some ways, you kind of like have like relationships with people like younger than you, young boys, young girls, whatever, and you sort of. Like those people when they grow up, you know, under your guidance, have a feeling of okay, cool. I would be this kind of father if I were to become a father. But culturally, these 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 acts are embedded within us. These roots are deeply entrenched. Yes, sure. hence we ourselves grow up even as men. You can knock up a girl and you can ignore her, and it's fine. Like you don't even have some kind of a conscience as a guy, because you were brought up in a society that accepts that. You know. So, um, and part, part and parcel of why things came into that was how our families were structured, essentially, back in the day. Yeah. But obviously we've evolved, so we can't keep on yes. blaming yeah, the you past. Know, the true, past. True. Yeah. And but they have an impact. And yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, like, it's like change. Change comes over time, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. And as I said, the roots are deeply entrenched. So it's going to take time for the tide to start changing. But 
I do fundamentally believe that we had a time where the tide is, is turning for the good. Yes. Uh, it might be slow, yeah. um, however it is, for, for number one, for us to be having this conversation, for starters, shows it is indicative of the tide is turning. Yes. We wouldn't be having this conversation if it wasn't. Yeah. Secondly, I think we're in an era of social media, and social media to a certain extent, as bad as social media might be, but it has its positives, and one of its positives is accountability. Social media has made people accountable to a certain extent. Uh, for example, we now live in an era where being a dad is fashionable. So now guys are influenced by that, yes. low-key, without them be, even being yeah, aware of that. Subconsciously. subconsciously yeah. Because yeah. social media influences us so much yes. that these guys who are influenced by this whole notion of, oh no, you need to be a present dad. Mm. Yes. You can't just be a dad yeah. Which is why I love those kind of influences I love those kind of conversations on the timeline I love conversations of um, Exposing deadbeats For example you mm. Because if you don't have those exposés mm. of deadbeats And deadbeats being shown The boot within society that you have no place in society yes. oh, yeah. Yeah. We and, and, and we can't even speak to you we can't yeah. Yeah. So it's like It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's, yeah, it's like you wanting to be part of this conversation and the city, no, 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 we can't even speak to you, you're a deadbeat. Yeah. You're always reminding me of that, you understand? Yeah. So, yeah. And you, you always, it will annoy you now, but like, guys, I can't even be part of a conversation that is totally unrelated to being a father or anything. Because For society sure. holds being a present dad up to such a high regard. It's something you want to live up it's to. It's something yes. you want to live up to. Yeah. So I, I do believe that social media is, is making strides in terms of making sure that people are held accountability in that regard. Just the, the other day, it was, it was Father's Day, and instead of the mothers posting about Father's Day, a lot of the dads were mm. posting your Happy Father's Day to myself, mm. you know, yeah. posting their kids. And, and even though maybe one might view it as being phony and just, you know, chasing trends or whatever, yeah. I like, it's fine. Let's be phony about proper things, yes. Yes. as opposed to the wrong things. Yes. Right? I'd rather have that than being phony with something that is totally not cool. Yeah. You understand? So if someone is posting for the, because that's the cool thing to do, essentially, it's going to even start becoming your lifestyle. Then you're going to end up spending time with the kid anyway. But because how you sure are we that it's going to get to that? You know, because like one picture doesn't one picture tell the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, there's, there are those technicalities too. You guys, you guys are right, you know. If, for example, you've exhausted all the, your options, I mean, you've taken this guy to maintenance court, and yeah, sure, he's paying his child maintenance, but he's not present in present the kid's yeah. life. Uh, like, I mean, okay. Well, okay, I'm you know, be, uh, yet, yet he's portraying a certain image on social media that he has a relationship yeah. with his kid. Actually, yeah. there's, a, there's a point in case. That didn't done look to my chick. Yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. remember that case? Mm. Yeah, when that chick yeah. exposed that guy. Mm. Have you guys seen that guy's Instagram right now? Yeah. Nah, I'm joking. It's just and as big. Actually, yeah. I saw, yeah. Yeah. And I actually saw an interview of <coughs> Nando Duma on one of the TV shows recently. Mm. Where yeah. she was talking about that. That she's glad she actually exposed this nigga because for some reason, everything's changed. Mm. This nigga is now more present. This nigga is now the one calling her like, yo, when am I seeing, when am I seeing my daughter? You understand? Mm. Yeah. And, and now it has changed the whole narrative yeah. around the whole situation. Because yeah. 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 I don't want to, I want to be a devil's advocate now and say that most of the time, sometimes in some situations we have guys who really want to be the best dad in their children's life, who really mm, want yeah. to be available and stuff, but because they have issues with the uh, Called baby, called mama. baby mama. Yeah. The baby mama. So most of the time, girls or baby mamas are very manipulative. Yeah, we should uh, forget yeah. that. You, you try to get yeah, back yeah. at the guy by baby. using the kid as, yeah. a, as a pawn. You know, mm. you try to manipulate. You try to frustrate the guy by using the kid as a pawn. So, I think there are many, many guys who really want to be available and be present to their children, but because there's issues with the baby tricky. mama, it it it's as a, as a stumbling block between them being having a relationship, having a, relationship a, a proper yeah. one not just 2.5 every month a proper one i want to go watch you play soccer i want to go attend your ballerina class and stuff but because the baby mama is so bitter mm. you know she causes problems with that i've seen That's situations it. where you will get a baby mama and the guy in a situation where He's sending money to her, right, for Wanako's maintenance. Mm. But every single time the guy is seeing Wana, it's like Hana Nixi. So there's always a list that comes to say Wana Morekele Ing, Morekele Ing. Even if it's been, say, for example, two weeks since mm. the guy has seen him. And now you're trying to figure out, like, the money that 
I'm sending for where's my child, mm. where is it going? Mm. Yeah, so then yeah. some guys then maybe then also feel, I think, Hoi, I'd much rather spend money on my child. Like if Gina Lea, mm. I'm spending money there. I've seen that. But then, and that was, that was that, still... That, that guy's Junior De Rocca's argument. Did he yeah. say that? Yeah, his argument was that like, he doesn't see where the money's going. So he'd rather spend the money with the daughter. Like, yeah. When they're together. When they're together. Yeah. Um, I somewhat sympathize with the mothers because I've seen what it takes to actually grow a child. Yeah. 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 Let's so, just say that you see, you see a lot, a lot of guys. Activities yeah, yeah, you see a lot of guys complaining about two k a month. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, and it's nothing. It's nothing. It's that can be food alone. Yeah, yeah. 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 You understand? So, so I think we need to be progressive with amending our laws and say let's share responsibilities. But, but let's look at the child's lifestyle. Do, do you think the, the guys that have a problem with the two point five or the problem that are not present to see where the two point five is going? I think it's both. It's both. It's both. Understand? The thing is, here's the thing. In, in most cases, it starts off with the guy not doing what is due, okay. right? Yeah. And then the lady takes him to court. Okay. And then what does the court do? The court just takes your pay slip. It's simple. They just take your pay slip and they say, oh, okay, yeah, but your court, every month. okay, this is the di disposable income. From this disposable income, I'm going to take 2.5. Mm. And the guys are happy with that because it means they only pay the bare minimum. Yeah. But that is fundamentally wrong. Okay. And you understand? Because then, if that's the case, then the court should do the same with the mother and say, outside the baby, what are your expenses and that's your disposable income so if the father's spending 2.5 on the kid the mother's also spending 2.5 on the kid oh, and so essentially yeah. we're seeing that this is not enough so they the don't kid. do that yeah. no, no no they don't that's not because the because the, the kid go, lives with the mother the mother, yeah. they only go through the father's side oh, and that okay. is flawed because mm. it means essentially the father could be spending only 20 percent financially on yeah. the kid that's and the true. mother's spending 80 percent you understand mm. so what i'm saying is let's not that's look true. at the, the kid's lifestyle you understand? Because it's like say, medical aids also that you need yeah, to take into consideration. You're not saying so medical aid is. School fees, mm, school school fees, fees right. extramural activities, yeah, yeah, all expensive. those things. Mm. So let's look into the kid's lifestyle and yeah. let's say, okay, cool. Out of all these lifestyles, how much is each and everything? Let's break it down. Let's go 50-50. Yeah. How you come up with that money is entirely your problem. Mm. I'll also work on how but I come up with money. could say, is, is it the kid's lifestyle or is it what the mother wants the kid to do? You know, that's a mother wants that like the kid, the kid to go to Unisi, yeah, mm. Mm. or or Kachisano. No, I Manu. think there's at least like um, there's in that order. There's still okay, cool. If everybody's earning at least this much, yeah, yes, you know, then you can go for yeah. Yeah. So, like, so so kind of like essentially, it'll yeah. come back to yeah. that. So well, there's a running joke in like family court that whenever a man steps in there, he's already lost. Like forget about it, mm -hmm. you know. Cause that's partly really, true, though. <laughs> that's and it's true. true. <laughs> that's that's yeah, partly yeah, true. Yeah. Like you can't, you can't argue with the mother in court. Like it's, just, it's just not gonna play out. Because you want. a human being came out of another human being, mm. and that is a miracle. And niggas need to appreciate own. that thing first. Mm. Mm. Um, so you think the mom's so important? Uh, definitely. Yeah, I know the mom. Definitely. Like we can't even done. equate in all honesty. Like I don't but think that's, that's up for debate. <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> hey, no, 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 no. I'm, no, no. Listen, that, that's no, no, no. That, like but we're say, talking about the act of the act. Yeah, yeah. 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 that on its own is yeah. itself. Yeah. That okay. That I, I, you agree yeah. with? Yeah, there are horrible mothers out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if you're watching, not you.